Hello, I think I'm live right now. Welcome everybody. My name's Angelo Darren. I'm a driverpreneur with Ride Local. And the reason why for this video is because today, as I was out driving, uh, literally I drive on three platforms. Uh, previously, I've been driving on Lyft and Ride Local. And today I went with uh, uh, Ride Local was a little bit slower. In some cases, I did have some rides with them, but I went ahead and went with Uber. One of the things that amazes me of what I found out out that just blows me away is that Uber cuts cuts the driver pay by lowering commissions for drivers. Now, is this a way Uber is this the way Uber is going to become profitable? Is that what they're thinking? They're thinking, hey, because I know they're pushed by their stockholders to become profitable uh, by the end of I believe 2021 or 2020 is Uber and 2021 is Lyft. But is that how they're going to do it? by maintaining the rider's uh, fare cost and then just keep on cutting your driver's uh, pay as much as you can until uh, really they just quit driving. Now, I'll just give an example. Uh, Uber is in Lyft has always had their fares were at 61 cents per mile and 11 cents per minute to drivers. Uh, what they do is they calculate the ride. For those that don't know it, the ride is generally calculated uh, by minutes and miles. So if you take the minute and miles, multiply it by the rate that comes up with the fare that the driver gets. And then on top of that, Uber has what they call a service fee and also a booking fee. And I've come to figure out that the service fee is the difference between the, the rate per mile and the rate per minute that they pay the drivers, opposed to the rate they charge the riders. So that's how they get their service fee. Their booking fee is a flat 260 per ride. So now let me get into this because when I started looking in it today, I started, uh, uh, first I was looking at the my fares because they're small fares. The largest fare I had today on Uber was 755. And then it went 369, 341, 380, 244, and 245 were the two lowest ones. So anyhow, I was, uh, went into it because I was really concerned about what I was making. And after I figured out the time I spent on the road to do these six rides for Uber was an hour and 59 minutes. So what I calculated the six ones, the total will be in 2334. So you're really looking at six rides of being at two hours. Let's just round it off to two hours. And it looks at, uh, you're making a whopping $23. Uh, well, no, $23 total, but a whopping $11.67 an hour, almost like employee labor, which doesn't take into account any type of fuel, any type of maintenance the driver might have, and the licensing some fees. Um, now, the second screenshot that I did showed the driver making less than Uber's cut. Now, when, uh, when will drivers get tired of this type of treatment? And uh, that's the reason for my videos, because I mean, I'm driving it and now I've spearheaded the ride local, so I have more of a reason to go out there and accept those $2 fares that I get from Uber. But when I see them, it still discourages me for the simple fact I spent two hours on the road making $11.67 an hour. So after I take off, off all of my overhead costs, I'm probably looking at anywhere from four maybe five dollars an hour or even even uh, lower than that if i did some calculations and, you know one of the things i want to do is out of those six rides so we're looking at uh, a total of 11.67 per hour right which is not enough for anybody to live on if you take their uh what they did is they took the 61 cents per mile and they knocked it down to 55 cents per mile so you know a difference of six cents a mile uh, now, even when they were paying the 61, there wasn't any big money to shot home to, to mom about. Uh, we were still struggling as drivers. The other thing is they took the 11, per, um, 11 cents per minute for the drivers uh, and they changed that to 10 and a half. So they took a half a cent off the minute and they took six cents off the mile. Uh, I just don't understand it. I don't understand why they keep on doing that to the driver. The other part of me is how are these drivers hey drivers how are you making it out there on driving just for the platform of uber or lyft i really want to know i want you to say shout out to me or put a comment in there in the section or whatever and let me know how are you making it because i see what i see on 
and I don't drive uh, as much as a lot of them. I drive about 30 hours a week, and obviously there's some weeks I've driven 50, but really on a, oh, on a normal average, I'm doing about 30 a week. But even at 30 a week, and I'm looking at what I took for the two hours, looking at 1167 an hour, my God, that's struggling. I'm really struggling in order to make ends meet. If I'm doing it, I know you drivers are too. So shout out to me why you put up with it. Shout out to me, what would you like to see change? And shout out to me, just your comments, your thoughts on it. I just want to know how you're feeling. I want to know what you're thinking about. Because really, in order for us to make this whole change, in order for us to get that 11.67 hour that you're making and get that up to where it should be, 40, 50, 60 dollars an hour, the only way we're going to do that is we're going to have to all join together and create unity in our strength. And if we can do that, boy, Uber can never do this to you. Lyft could never do this to you. The, the control is in the driver's hands, but not if you continue to drive for Uber and Lyft. You continue to drive for it, they're going to continue to cut you, and you're going to continue to make like the 11 67 an hour and so Check out Ride Local. I really encourage everybody to check out Ride Local and get 100% fares and tips, which doubles and even triples your pay. Now, one thing I notice, every driver that does come on our platform, they want to do more than just drive. They really want to make a make an impact. They want to uh, change what they have experienced because they know so many drivers are really struggling out there. So if you want to do more, if you came in as a driver, you wanted to put more into it, you want to be more of, a, more of the, our group or where we have uh, many things that we do in order to influence riders to use us and drivers to drive for Ride Local. So just remember, Ride Local gives you 100% of your fares and tips, and uh, I encourage you to check us out, www.ridelocalgr.com. Uh, I encourage you drivers, after you drive, do what I did. Go back into the transaction and find out exactly what happens. Now on one of these rides, I just want to get into it. I made, uh, while well, the total ride was $8.25 a rider paid, the sad thing about it is I made $4.84, or no, I made $3.41 and Uber took $4.84. So I literally took more money out of that particular ride than what I received for driving it. So anyhow, if you're interested in looking into more of the Ride Local so you can make more money and get the 100% fares and tips, please do so. Visit us on RideLocalGR.com or you can shout out to us at support at RideLocalGR.com or you can call us on the phone at 616-204-0496. We are transparent at any time of the day. We have a live person answering the phones. All right, thank you for listening. If you liked what you heard, please subscribe below and also hit the notification bell so you can alert it when I come up with uh, the spear of the moment videos when important information comes out that I think you should know about. Have a good day and happy and safe driving.